Yo, what's up, y'all? B-Dub is back for my discussion on last weekend's Dragon Ball Xenoverse PS3 Network Test. Intro, start. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. So the Dragon Ball Xenoverse PS3 network test was a test that Namco Bandai started uh, last week. Uh, they sent out the codes uh, Thursday night to all PSN users and I got my code and the next day we had to put in the code pretty damn fast because the code was only for the first 20,000 people uh, to redeem and be able to participate in the PlayStation 3 network test for Xenoverse. Uh, luckily, I did not have, you know, I didn't have to go to work that day, so I stayed up late, played some games, watched some anime, and put that code in as fast as fucking possible. And I was able to get into the network test throughout the entire weekend. Now, the Dragon Ball Xenoverse network test was only 24 hours long. Uh, maybe 25 or 26. Uh, I heard some people was able to stay in for another hour or two. Then the uh, servers just fucking went down. But anyway, I also recorded some kind of crappy gameplay footage. Please forgive me, I do not have a capture card yet. I do plan to get a gameplay capture card uh, very soon. But anyway, uh, as you can see some images here of me creating my character. Uh, one of the interesting things about Dragon Ball Xenoverse is that we're going to be able to create our own Z-Warrior or Future Warrior or whatever you want to call it. And we can create from either the Saiyan, the Namekian, a Majin, a, um, a Freezer race, and I believe Earthling. So yeah, a lot of that is pretty freaking awesome and pretty fucking epic. I mean, being able to create my own Saiyan, change his hair, his clothing, and not to mention his skin color, so I can have me an African American Saiyan warrior, you know, a black Saiyan, a black Super Saiyan. And of course the female fans out there can create a female Saiyan and a female Super Saiyan. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, I mean, like, I created my character pretty fast. The uh, creative character mode was kind of limited. Uh, it was very expected because it is beta, so, you know, what you gonna do? So I'm walking around in the Toki Toki City, kind of like an online hub where you have all your, your missions and your battles and interact with the other online players in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It looks pretty damn awesome and pretty damn cool. This is the free roaming aspect that I really did enjoy during the network test for Xenoverse. I mean, this shit is fucking great. I always play these Dragon Ball Z fighting games and always wonder like, man, when are they, when are they gonna get some good free roaming, you know? Budokai 3 had like a smidget of it, but it really wasn't true free roaming. Not really a RPG kind of mode, but pretty decent for what it is now for the beta and I can kind of see that they have other uh, you know areas in the world that you can go to and walk around and, and you know, stuff like that. A great thing about this Toki Toki uh, CD background or this backdrop whatever you want to call it this area is that they have other shops to get items and upgrade your, your outfits and your items um, upgrade your character period because your character can be leveled up to like level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and etc. So that's pretty awesome that you can actually make your character stronger. Now the gameplay, a lot of people have been wondering about the gameplay. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen, you know, the gameplay on the Japanese beta and the European beta as well. And me personally, uh, picking up the game and playing it, the game does play very well. It took me like maybe, uh, maybe 20 minutes to get used to the controls. And, you know, it was pretty uh, smooth and fluid for what it was for a beta. It kind of plays like Raging Blast a little bit with a smidgen of burst limit and a little bit of Battle of Z. But not like the horribleness of Battle of Z, you know. It has like all these Dragon Ball fighting game elements crammed into one. And it's pretty decent. The camera was pretty good. The characters are to scale, you know, meaning that they're not like as small as like, you know, miniature action figures. They're actually to scale. Nap was pretty fucking huge is what I also mean by they are to scale. And, you know, the uh, 
the the levels, the 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 uh, the boards, the backgrounds, whatever you want to call them, looks fucking phenomenal. You know, for the beta, you know, uh, things do get destroyed. I was on the Kanye lookout, uh, you know, fighting some people and etc. I didn't experience any lag at all during the network test. I know a lot of people complained about lagging in the Toki Toki City and lagging during the fighting and lagging during the online uh, multiplayer lobbies and etc. I didn't experience any lag at all. It could have been other people's internet connections, who knows. But I do hope that Bondi Visual, Bondi Visual, I mean, Namco Bondi, Bondi Visual is dead, at least in America. I hope that Bondi Namco fixed the internet lagging issues. And that's pretty much the reason why they did this test. To test out uh, how can the servers, you know, can the servers, you know, handle 20,000 plus players, like maybe 20,000 in America, and another 20,000 in Japan and Europe, and that's like, you know, 60,000 motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's gonna be some lag, but the game isn't due till uh, early 2015. I actually hope that Demps, the creators of the game, takes more time with it, you know? I really hope they're not trying to rush this game out. There were a couple issues here and there, but um, pros and cons. I like the gameplay, you know? I like the uh, free roaming aspect. And the creative character mode looks like it's going to be very extensive and very deep. Uh, cons, you know, a couple of uh, clunky controls from here and there. And uh, I really don't like the uh, the cursor. It's like this little uh, this, this, this triangle or like this fucking arrow where it points you to where your character is, you know. I mean, that's cool to have if you're training, but I really hope they have a mode to turn that shit off. It was very fucking distracting. Um, and of course the lag for other people, you know, I didn't experience lag, but I got to put that in there. There was some lag. Uh, there was also a link to Bondi Namco's survey to talk about, you know, what are your thoughts on the network test and what are the, uh, you know, issues that they need to fix, you know. I feel that out as well. But, um, yeah, the network test was great. I was one of the lucky ones. Uh, hopefully there might be another one or just wait for a full demo uh, next year. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, Beat of the Anime Master, are you excited for Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse? I am. Day one pickup. Anyway, stay tuned for more anime, manga, video game, and discussion videos. I'm Beat of the Anime Master. Peace. Dragon Ball Z, the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Master.